Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make random blocks. I think I did a tutorial a long time ago on how to do this or at least uh, I showed the randomizer block mainly with it. So I'll be more going in depth in the uh, how you can basically use any type of block and then randomize it into different textures and stuff like that like I will be demonstrating demonstrating in just a second so as you can see this is not the block that we have in our hand right now this is a completely different block and if we place down a few different other ones it'll be completely random depending on you know the a variable so as you can see we can make some pretty interesting things out of just one block and we could even go up more and this could be used for a whole bunch of different types of applications you could have it so say you have planks missing from your uh, wood planks you could have different metal plates like we're doing here uh, you could do a whole different number of other things too you could techni technically even do it with uh, when grass is basically placed or whatever you could have a different random texture or have like little logs or details and stuff on it so it's really endless what you can end up doing with it which is pretty cool um, now as you can see it's completely random there's it cycles between four different textures there's the the one that we have in our main hand which is uh, that one right there and that's a 25 percent chance of it actually spawning and then there's this one uh, all these have a 25% chance, right? So there's all there's four textures in total that I'm alternating between. So it gives the world a little more variety, and it just looks a little bit uh, more random, which is good when it comes down to building and stuff like that. If you keep the textures very similar to each other, it will actually turn out pretty good, like what you can see here. I mean, we're using pretty much the same texture just a little bit different patterns on the inside and it turned out pretty good so let's go into M Creator and I'll show you this really simple system so outside of having to create a block for each individual type of state that you want it in so there's obviously our main block which is this one right here I have our texture set up I've basically just gone through all the settings uh, the only thing that you don't need uh, you want it to drop itself and you want it to uh, be able to be creative picked. So this basically just leave those two unchecked so you can basically get the, the, the default item. And all the other settings you can change toward whatever you want as well as these settings here. Uh, it does have a trigger when block added and I'll get into that in just a second. Uh, the other blocks are very similar in the actual settings and stuff the only difference is we're doing the custom drop to our mean block which is the one that we just covered this one right here and we're also doing the create a pick uh, item as the same block as the one as our main item this one right here as well outside of that it also has the one block added so actually that doesn't really make sense does it uh, these should actually not have the uh, triggers added to it. So you don't need the triggers on your alternate blocks. Um, it will work that way, but it's best not to have it that way for performance issues or performance. All right, so let's save those and just double check. Yep, okay. And let's uh, go over the procedure. So what's happening here is we're running it on server side. To do that, what we need to do is go into uh, flow control, this little icon right down here. We're gonna grab an if statement like so. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to logic, grab a not statement because we want it to run on server side, not client side. And then we're gonna to go to world data, this little tab up here. And then we're gonna scroll down until you see is provided world remote. And then it says client side. This basically says that we it will be running on client side. Now the not statement basically says not to run on client side. So the other side of that is basically server side. So we want it to run on server side because it's a block and it's hap happening in the world itself. Uh, and another thing, reason why we need this is because 
the randomize um, the randomizer f system right here is actually needed to be run on server side so that's another reason why we need to run it on server side Another thing that we have is a local variable. Now we don't need to store any MBT variables or global variables. A local variable will do just fine for a simple randomizer and it will not be permanent, which is perfect uh, when it comes down to modding and stuff like that. So you will need a number variable so you can pass the local variable onto that. So in order to do that, just click on the green icon for the variable, set your variable name, set it to number, and then click OK and then you'll have a, a local variable all set up. After which you can go to custom variables and it should show in this list as a local variable. If not, then you'll have to grab the block and then scroll down and find the local variable that you have installed here. It should be towards the top of the list uh, for local variables. If you have global variables and it'll be towards the bottom of the list or still towards the top of the list, the global variables will be below it. All right, so when you have a local variable, you want to set, and then you want to set your local variable. The other thing that you want to do is go to math. So local variables can be found on custom variables. Again, you want the set one. The math operator, you want the one that says random. This number is, ranges between one and zero. So any point form between that is what your percentage is going to be. So in our example, we have 0 0.75, 0 0.5, and 0 0.25 for our values. And now that we have a value that we basically set, what we need to do is actually create another if statement. And we're going to grab this one right down here. And then we're going to actually click on the gear icon because we have one extra block that we need to add. And then what we're going to do is we're going to basically randomize our, um, our basically our uh, other states. So when the main block is placed, what we want to do is we want to test if the random number in our variable is between a certain number. So what we can do is we can test if it's greater than and then a higher number, medium number, and then a low number, and then we can basically the any remaining of that number will be our default state so let's go to the local ver uh pardon me not local variables we want to go to logic and grab a dark blue operator this one right here right under the light blue one and then we're going to click on the equal sign and then we're going to go greater than and then what we want to go back to is math grab a number and then you want to set this to 0 0.75. Now this number will vary depending on how many models you have. If you have a certain amount of numbers or different models or blocks basically, then what you want to do is you want to take one and then divide that by the number of blocks that you have. And then you want to basically have that as your first number. And then you want to basically add that same number each time for every state. So. Uh, for example, there's four blocks. So if we divide four uh, or one divided by four, we get 0 0.25. And then what I've done is 0 0.25 equal to or greater than 0 0.25. And then I've basically added 0 0.25 and then I got 0 0.5. And then I have added 0 0.25 again. And then I got 0 0.75. And basically that covers everything and anything under 0 0.25 is going to be our default state. All right, now that we got the math out of the way, uh, we can go to custom variables and get local variable. And then we're gonna get our local variable that we set right here. After that, we can just duplicate this and then we can set this to other numbers. So 0 0.5 and 0 0.25. So we'll just set this to 0 0.25. All right, so anything under basically 0 0.25 is going to be our defaults, just basically leave our general block. So the only other thing that we have to do now is basically replace the block at the same location and then set it to our other model. So what we need to do is go to block procedures, replace block at, and then there's X, Y, and Z, and then we can select our block and then we can keep the state as well as the 
of MBT slash inventory. So we want to do that. We want to actually enable this checkbox right here. If you are using variables and stuff, this is going to be really important to make sure that you check. So it keeps the variables. Uh, now we're going to actually duplicate this three times or two extra times. And then what we're going to do is set our first state. This is our default block. And then we have our block one, block two, and block three. So we want to set our block one and then block two and then block three. Now it doesn't matter what order you put it in as long as it's different. And outside of that, that's all there is to it. Now let's hop into the game again and we'll just take a quick look at the changes that we did with the not running it on the um, alternate blocks as well. All right, so we're back in game and we're just gonna place down a whole bunch of different types of blocks of the same type that we had. And it should be a little bit more better for performance now, now that it's not basically going through each individual um, alternate block as well. So when we're adding it, as you can see, it's still completely random and it, sh it should just be a little bit more easier on performance because we're not doing that same procedure every time the alternate blocks are bas basically being placed as well. So it should be actually more efficient now that you don't run it on the uh, alternate block side as well. But outside of that, that's basically all I have for today. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.